Welcome to Global Banking and Finance Review Awards. Global Banking and Finance Review is a leading brand name in the world of finance and banking. Their awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes that are prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. This time, we're pleased to offer two awards to Unifin. Unifin, based in Mexico City, offers customers the highest quality in financial services, relying on the professionalism of human capital, technological and economic resources, and provides a wide range of services, including leasing, factoring, credit and insurance. Unifin aims to be the leading company in its market, recognized by the strength and dedication for ongoing partnerships with customers through a range of comprehensive financial services. Global Banking and Finance is pleased to award Unifin Best Investor Relations Company Mexico 2018 and Best Leasing Company Mexico 2018. Recently, we welcomed to the London Stock Exchange TV studio Sergio Camacho, Director General of Administration and Finance, to receive the awards from Gabriela Donteate. Later, we talked to Mr. Camacho about the Unifin success story. Mr. Camacho, welcome to London and congratulations on the award as well. No, thank you. Thank you very much. For, for us, it's an honor to, to, to receive the, the, the award and, and, and we're very, very happy on the, on the performance of the company and, and, and we will continue working at the same level to, to continue getting this type of, of awards. Thank uh, you so much. Absolutely. And indeed, uh, mentioning the company, let's talk a little bit about the history. You recently celebrated 25th anniversary. Tell us a little bit about the history. Sure. This company was founded in 1993 by Mr. Rodrigo Lewa. He founded as a leasing company for, for, for autos, for vehicles. And since its founding, it has showed tremendous growth. No? Particularly, we can highlight in 2014, you know, after we went through the tequila crisis, the dot-com crisis, and the Lehman Brothers crisis. In 2014 was the first time that we addressed international markets uh, issuing a bond. In 2015, we did our IPO and we went fully public to the, to the market. Uh, since then, we have been accessing the markets more on the fixed income uh, and have shown over the last five years a compounded annual growth rate of 50% in revenues and in profits. So it has been a very interesting journey. Now, what would you say distinguishes Unifin from other leasing companies? I think it has to do with, first of all, management. Uh, we believe that we have the best ta talented people in the company. Second, it has to do with uh, how fast we are to react to the market conditions. Uh, we address the SME sector in Mexico, which over the years has proven to be a very resilient sector in, in, in the country, and the, the, the speed to response. We are committed to provide a, uh, a, an answer to our clients once we have the file fully completed, uh, depending on the amount of the lease, can go from t t 48 hours up to two weeks. So we're very, very fast. And that, of course, distinguish ourselves from, from the competition. So speed is, is an important speed issue. Is important. Then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And what would you say the opportunities and challenges are in, in the leasing business in Mexico today? One has to do with the culture. Uh, Mexico, as if we compare Mexican financial system compared to, to the rest of Latin America, we are underpenetrated. Uh, the SME sector particularly is an unserved uh, sector uh, and that of course uh, posed a very good uh, challenge and a, and a very good growth potential opportunity for, for us. Uh, the leasing sector, when I refer to culture, is that Mexicans are not used to lease, they are used to buy. They have this uh, sentiment of belonging the asset or the car or whatever that, that we can lease uh, and they prefer to buy it. Once that we have been approaching and going through this learning curve to, to our clients and to, to, the, to, the, to the entrepreneurs as, as, a, as, a, as a whole, uh, they get the message, they get the benefits of leasing and that's the, 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 the one of the reasons why we have been so successful. So you have to sell the idea first, first. of all. Yes, yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah. Actually, uh, within our business strategy, uh, we uh, had like these lunches with uh, entrepreneur chambers and show, first of all, what does the leasing consist, operating leasing. 
so we, we are in that learning process. Yes, so, indeed, uh, yeah. and actually educating people. Yeah. Uh, what about Mexico's current political situation uh, and the negotiations with NAFTA? How, how does that actually affect your business? Well, we are in a very interesting moment, uh, particularly with two main issues. One has to do with NAFTA, the other thing has to do with the uh, presidential elections. Uh, the second is going to be due next Sunday, so we are very close to know who is going to be the next president for six years in the country. And the NAFTA uh, negotiations, uh, it's an ongoing process. Uh, we have heard since the beginning of the year that the discussions were uh, going up and, up and forth, and, 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 and eventually these two events have posted some uncertainty to the, to the markets. You see how those are is trading right now. Uh, and that has, a, has a, an impact on, on, on our customers because of their decision process uh, making in, in, into buying a new asset or not. So, uh, but Unifin is very strong. Unifin has done his, his, his work, his homework. Uh, we started the process 24 months ago of fixing our rates. Our funding costs are fixed. 98% of, of our funding costs are fixed. We extend the maturity of our liabilities. Now we, we went from 38 months to up to 64 months. So we, we have been very cautious in our risk management approach. Uh, but of course, these two events are macro fundamentals. No? So, yes. so, but but we, we, are com we are comfortable in the position that we are. And we are confident that no matter what the outcome is on both, uh, on both events, Unifin is going to be is going to be there. No? You have to be prepared for every eventuality. For sure, yeah. Yes. And what would you say uh, the, the, the plans for development and growth are for Unifin? It has to do, once again, to, to have a very good data on our clients, on the regions that are growing faster in the country, uh, regions that have uh, more consistent GDP growth. Uh, and, and on that we're focusing in sectors uh, like, for example, tourism or manufacturing, that are sectors very resilient and that they have posted very good growth over the last years. So our business intelligence or our, and our marketing efforts are directed towards getting the, the regional office and the, and, and, the, uh, and the capabilities to address those opportunities that we're finding. Could we look at investor relations? Yep. You obviously have an investor relations team. Yep. What do you think is a, a crucial requirement for that? It's a crucial requirement because since we're not a bank, we need to fund ourselves by either the, inter in the international or the local markets. And having a proper communication with bondholders, it's crucial for, for our business. We have been capable of raising close to $1.3 billion over the last 18 months. And that was, of course, because of, the, of, the, of, of how strong is, is Unifin. But on the other hand, it has to do with how well we are perceived by the international markets and by the local markets. And that perception is driven by two things. First of all, by results, management, but also how well you communicate to your, to your stakeholders. And in that part, the investor relations uh, team or the investor relations responsibility, it's critical. And since you, you were part of uh, your IPO in, in 2015, how has the investor relations team evol uh, evolved since then? It, it has been every year more uh, increased their professionalism. You know? mm -hmm. uh, when we did the IPO, was a new team, new even to, 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 the, to, the, to the profession of, of investor relations. But uh, getting uh, new talent people into the, into the team with uh, more knowledge on, on how does the public companies uh, behave. Uh, now I, I can certainly say that that's why we receive this, this, this very, very, very a good uh, trophy and award. We feel very proud of it because we have done our job. And, 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 and what I mean by doing our job is that we, we are committed to the market. We, for example, organize on a quarterly basis our press release, but also we do either non-deal or deal uh, roadshows. We attend the conferences and, and, and the market now knows uh, in advance which conference we're going to be attending on the year so they can better plan uh, the, 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 the meetings or the one-on-ones the -on that they want to, to have with us. Uh, we, are, uh, we have a, a, very, a very good team in the sense that we address any inquiry that gets through email or by phone. No matter the hour <laughs> that we receive it, 
uh, I would like to say that no matter the day, but <laughs> we are not so bad and so mean with our employees. So, so but, but, but these guys are very professional uh, and I'm very, very proud to, to have these guys in the team. And how important is transparency and communication between your investors and your management team? Crucial, crucial. The best, the best communications that our senior management has on what does the market is, is perceiving from Unifin, the best that we can act. So for us, it's crucial that uh, the, the board of directors, the, the senior management team is aware on what is going on in, in the market and how those investors perceive uh, Unifin. And the only way to have that perception, because the investor does not have the time to, to, to take and ah, no, I'm going to call Unifin because I thought this or, or, or whatever. The, the, the best uh, image and the best uh, perception that we have from, from these guys, the best that we can communicate and act in, in, in response to that. So it's onwards and upwards, lots of new challenges ahead. For sure. Uh, and I hope that that's a great <laughs> success. And thank you so much for coming to visit us today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Excellent.